My name is Dave Olson. Uh, I'm on the board here at Western Dakota Antique Club. This is our 52nd annual show. Uh, everything a little bit off kilter this year being the COVID year. So a few things unexpected and, and whatnot thrown in. Uh, the engine behind me here, uh, the pump jack, it's a, a Jensen pump jack that was originally purchased to run a water well. And when they got done drilling the well, well, they came up with salt water. So the thing was never ran. So even though it's an old pump jack, uh, it's ran more here at the show than it ever did in its real working life. It's powered by a nine horse Climax engine that come out of the oil fields in Wyoming. Well, to one o'clock, we'll get underway with the parade. I'd like to invite everyone that's able to rise, please rise and remove cover for the playing of our national anthem. Rumley made at the 3060 horsepower. 
two cylinder with 10 inch pistons and a 12 inch stroke. A 1918 Rumley Model E, 3060 horsepower. Chambers owned by the Don Denovan family, a 1917 Waterloo 16 horsepower steamer. Todd Jacobs and Tony Divins doing the driving today. This was bought by Don in 1977 and has been by Ben at their antique club ever since. Up next is a home tractor that was made in 1995. It's owned by David and Holly Milky from Del Logan Keeper's doing the driving today. This tractor is powered by a 1946 International Harvester LB engine. And David uses it year-round to grind feed for the chickens at home. Up next is one, another one of our featured tractors. This is a 1959 Case Model 700B, owned by Tom Houston of Sturgis, South Dakota. This tractor was purchased out of Canada, with less than 500 units made of this particular model. Number 158 is a 1930s Model 30. Owned by the Williams family. Allie Williams is doing the driving along with Sterling. 1930 Caterpillar 30. Up next is a 1947 Minneapolis Moline RTU. Owned by Sandy Anderson. It's pulling a 1954 LS300 manure spreader. We have a 1956 Minneapolis Moline Model 445, owned by Roger Anderson from Rapid City, South Dakota. We have another feature tractor, a King's Cross Motors. This is owned by the Williams family. We have a 1953 John Deere Model 60. Owned by Adam Grubel, Sturgis, South Dakota. Adam's pulling the club kitty train with it. Adam's one of the board of directors here at the Western Dakota Antique Club. 1953 John Deere 60. Here we have a 1949 Shaw Dual Model R8. Owned by J.T. Shuck from Vail, South Dakota. J.T. was in the slow tractor race with us this morning. Coming down the parade route now is a 1918 Rumley Model F. Owned by Doug Jansen. This is a one-cylinder tractor. It's the only one-cylinder that Rumley made. This was noted as the Cornfield Special Tractor. First we have a uh, 1926 Model 1220 cross motor. This is owned by the Williams family and Jeremy Williams is doing the driving today. I'm not going to say anything about a case pull in the John Deere either, because that's a really tight rope. Following Jeremy is a 1937 John Deere B. This is owned by John Fowler from Gillette, Wyoming. Following the two tractors is a 1957 Kenworth Bullnose Cab Over Truck. This is owned by John Fowler of Gillette, Wyoming. John brings over his tractors with us every year. Following the old Kenworth is a 1954 Riker Special, owned by Dean Riker. This is a homemade tractor that was built by Dean's father, Carl Arthur Riker. Number 86 is a 1947 John Deere D. This is owned by John Fowler from Gillette. John's doing the driving today. Here we have a 1945 Oliver Model 99, owned by the Don Denovan family. Kent Jacobs, grandson, is doing the driving today, pulling the people wagon that we use around the club here. Here we have a 1917 Boltman Taylor Model 3060. This is owned by the Williams family. 
Jason and Mackenzie Williams doing the driving today. 1917 Oakman Taylor. Here's a 1946 Formula Model H. Owned by Kim and Kevin Carlin. Kim's doing the driving today. This was the original tractor of Kim's family. It was the only farm all they had. The rest were all John Deere. It's a 1926 Rumley Model L, owned by Doug Jansen. This tractor was bought new in 1926 in Rapid City, South Dakota. Was driven to seven miles north of Sturgis, where it spent its entire life owned by the Dockler family. Up next is a 19... No, I'm the air, but it's an international Super WD9. It's owned by Wallace Jansen. This tractor was restored by the Taylor Brothers and purchased by Wallace. Been at the club for many, many years. Following the Super WD9 is the older gas version, a 1945 McCormick W9, owned by Merritt Ludens from Sturfer, South Dakota. Now the 1952 Ford Model 8N, owned by Dave and Mark Barbara Crawford from Wyoming, driven by Barbara today. This was Barbara's father's tractor who passed it on to her name. Here we have Albert Hardy on his 2001 Yamaha Kodiak 400 four-wheeler. Albert uses this on construction sites to check work that's being done. It's also used at the Black Hills Bible Camp. This is a 1936 John Deere A, owned by the Andrew Vick family. Andrew's son, Pearson, is driving it today. 1936 John Deere A. Following that is a 1948 John Deere M, also owned by the Andrew Vick family. Andrew's son, Jose, is driving it today. It's a 1926 Ford Model T gas truck owned by Kim and Kevin Carlin. This truck was bought from Ed Taylor, and the truck has been at the MP Club for many years. It's a 1927 Rumley Duol owned by Dan and Jamie Kokesh from Minnesota. Jamie's doing the driving today. It's a convertible three-wheel tractor with a corn cultivator. This is the feature tractor of this year's show. When we get our show buttons in, for unforeseen circumstances, this is the one that's on it. A 1939 Case Model DC, owned by Dan and Jamie Kokesh, and Dan's doing the driving today. It's a 1925 Avery Model 4565. This tractor's owned by the Williams family. Gene's doing the driving today. This tractor was found in a tree grove in North Dakota and brought down and restored by Gene's father. It's been a staple at the club for many years. Following the Avery is a 1955 John Deere 440 crawler owned by the Andrew Vick family. Andrew's son Darius is doing the driving today. 1955 John Deere 440. This was the industrial version of the 430 crawler. It's a 1957 John Deere 620, owned by Harlan Smith from Harold, South Dakota. Stuart Smith's doing the driving today. This will be in the 7,500 pound class of the tractor pull later on this afternoon after the parade. Up next, a 1949 Co-op number three. This is owned by the Staffney family from Hedinger, North Dakota. Jason Staffney is doing the driving and Kevin's riding along. This tractor was bought new in Reeder, North Dakota. It's a fifth generation tractor, bought new by EA Staffney. Here we have Lynette Kiefer with a Cushman diesel engine in that, got snow plow on it. Here we have Jerry Reichert on his 1926 John Deere Model D. You'll often see this tractor hooked to a water wagon. Here we have Doug Jansen on his 1921 Vest Model 60. 
Best and Holt joined up in 1925, and this is what became the Caterpillar Tractor Company. Number 73, 1950 Ford Model 8N with a 309 corn planter owned by Dave Morrison. Dave is the uh, Western Dakota Antique Club Vice President this year. Up next is another original Meath County tractor. This is a 1969 Case Model 1030 owned by Will Monroe from Stoneville. This was bought new in 1970 at Valley Implement out in Fairview, South Dakota by Will's grandfather, Albert Sr. Up next is Esther Monroe on her 1940 John Deere H. A 1945 case model LA owned by Heather Monroe from Stoneville, South Dakota. Here we have a 1959 John Deere 730 diesel owned by Bill Houston from Newell, South Dakota. This tractor was purchased from my uncle's estate at Wasta, South Dakota in 1995. It's been, a, been at the show ever since. We have a 1949 John Deere MC. This is owned by the Williams family. Allie Williams is doing the driving along with Tegan and Shirley. We have a McCormick W9 owned by Justin Chipperol and is driven by his wife Trish today. Justin's a board member here at Western Dakota Antique Club. Here we have Lenny Skilling Stad on a McCormick Deering W30, a 1935 model. How about a 1926 Caterpillar 60? This is also owned by the Williams family, and Jeremy Williams is doing the driving today. Jeremy totally restored this tractor a few years back. We have a 1958 Case Model 511B, also one of the feature tractors this year. It's owned by Justin Chipperell and driven by his son Cody today. Up next is a Cushman Speedster, owned by Justin Chipperell, driven by his daughter Grace. We have a 1947 Farmall H, owned by Riley Crockford of Vail, South Dakota. Riley is driving this in memory of his grandfather, Joseph James Crockford. This is a 1948 John Deere H. This is owned by J.T. Schuff from Bale, South Dakota. Joe Crawford's doing the driving today. 1948 John Deere H. This is Rod Gaffrey on a Rumley tractor. You lost your number, Rod, so I don't know what model it is. This is Donnie Norman on a International TD9, 1949 model. Donnie got this tractor less than a year and a half ago with a stuck engine and lots of help from Leo Heindel and Jeremy Williams and now runs and drives to the parade. Following that is a 1953 Alice Calmer's WD-45 owned by Braxton Quinzer. Braxton's 14 years old and saved his mowing money for many, many years to build a tractor. It's got a 350 Chevy engine in it. But 1951 Alice Chalmers WD, this is also owned by Braxton Quinzer. And his mom, Tina Norman, is doing the driving today. 1951 Alice Chalmers WD. It's a 1947 Lessman Loader, owned by Darwin Lessman. 
This was built by Westman Manufacturing in Des Moines, Iowa. Sold to Track Vader, Track Vader in 1952, which later became Caterpillar. Following here is Dave Olson on his John Deere D. Dave is another one of the members, board members of the Western Dakota Antique Club. Up next is Western Dakota Antique Club's president, Rod Ehrensdorf, on his 1959 Case 801B. This tractor was purchased from Grable, Wyoming, where it was operated on a sugar beet farm. It's a 1926 Ford Model T, owned by Kim and Kevin Carlin. This is a Canadian-made Model T that Kevin hauled back from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. Here we have Jason Williams on a 1923 Case, model 2240 cross motor. It's owned by the Williams family. There's a 1963 Farmall 706 diesel. This is owned by John, Cook, John Kirby from Newell, South Dakota. John had this in the tractor pole yesterday and this morning. It's a 1962 Case, model 930. This is owned by Tom Houston of Sturdy, South Dakota. This tractor was purchased by Mike Weirich at an auction, and then Tom bought it from an auction from him. There's Ben Cubs from Hot Springs on his John Deere L. This tractor's for sale if you're interested. Next up, we have Bob Weirich on a Farmall Super C. This is the tractor owned by his son, Taylor, and this was restored by Bob's father, Leo, being driven in his memory today. Next up, we have Nicholas Weirich driving his International Age. This tractor was also stored by Leo Weirich. Here we have an International Cub owned by Chris the Curse and Chantel Cryans doing the driving today. This tractor was also restored by Krista's grandfather, Leo Weirich. Here we have Keith Weirich on a McCormick Daring 1530. And little Dean Weirich helping Drew the driving today. This tractor was also restored by grandfather, Leo Weirich. Next we have a Farmall Model A. This was driven by Darcy Weirich and this is owned by her daughter, Laura who is now in Pennsylvania. Here's Patricia Weirich driving her co-op tractor. This is owned by Patricia. This tractor was owned by her grandfather. It was purchased by another club member at an auction and then purchased by her husband, Keith, and got it running for her. Up next is Mike Weirich on a John Deere H. This is owned by Mike and Rena Weirich from Whitewood pulling a home-built trolley that Mike uses to give rides around the grounds with. I do believe this tractor belongs to Keith Weirich, but this is a Farmall B, driven by the Five Fields from Rosette, Wyoming. Here we have a McCormick Daring WD-9. This tractor is also owned by Keith Weirich. Keith's dad, Bruce, is doing the driving today. Paul McDaring, WD-9. Here we have Dave Olson again on his Minneapolis Moline G. Dave comes from New Underwood, South Dakota. That looks to be the last tractor in the parade today. I want to thank everyone for coming out to the 52nd Annual Black Hills Team of Gas Rescue.